Hello crafters, this is Gareth from G's Creations and welcome to another video. Today we will be making a necklace using some of the um, jewellery findings you will find at G's Embellishment Emporium. There will be a link in the top corner here. Um, I sell the bronze chain by the meter, it comes in a bag like this. We have the bronze um, cup and saucer. We have the bronze teapot bead frame. I sell the um, flat head pins in packs of 25. I'm going to use one of the bronze ones. All this information will be on the blog post and there'll be a link to that below. Um, I sell, I'm going to use my own because there's no point in taking them out of the stock. The ones um, that I sell are going to be slightly different in size and shape. But I'll be using some jump rings and, some, uh, and a clasp. Um, they're also stocked at G's Embellishment Emporium. All this information will be available in the blog post. Um, I'm not going to use a full meter, so I've cut my chain. I'm going to cut my chain down to size. I uh, just need to get the right size. I want a, about a good, maybe a good 20 inches in regards to the total chain length. So I'm just measuring a piece of chain. So that is 10. Right, I'm just measuring this, so the total length of this chain is 20 inches, so then that will give you um, a 20 inch necklace. Alright, so put that back. Now there's a few ways that you can, you know, that you can utilise these, um, these lovely bronze um, bead frames. Now I'm going to use some of these aquamarine chips that I have in my stash. This flat head pin I'm going to put in the, the hole in the base of the teapot and I'm going to bypass the top hole because obviously I need to put in my gems or my chips so I'm going to just pop those on. You could use pearls um, if you make if you make paper beads then you know by all means use those just use whatever's in your stash. Okay and I'm going to bring the uh, the flathead pin back to go in the top hole like so now using my round nose pliers I am going to create a ring for that to be hung onto a jump ring and be hung off the necklace now these are probably going to be too small for you to see but I've got a jump ring in my hand and I'm just going to attach it to that loop we just made using my round nose pliers and I'm going to close the jump ring. It's probably very hard for you to see on camera. I will try and do it as close to the camera as I can so you'll get some idea. So let's put those two on side. I was thinking of having the, um, the cup as well. So all I'm going to do with the cup is add a jump ring or two and I'm going to put it through the uh, cups handle and obviously close the jump ring making sure that both sides meet and it's closed securely because otherwise it'll just fall off This is quite intricate, delicate work, but um, it's, def oh, it's definitely worth it once it's finished. It doesn't help when you've got big fingers like myself. Okay, I'm just going to close that. I'm going to put some jump rings and a clasp at the end of the uh, at the end of the chain. And the lobster clasp. There'll be a link to all the items used in the blog post. And the good thing about these, they're all sold in packs, so you'll be able to make more than one necklace with the jump rings, the clasps. I think it's a pack of ten clasps and a and a seven gram pack of jump rings, which is normally well over a hundred jump rings. 
you know the ne the brace the necklace the chain itself is sold in meter lengths the um flathead pins are sold in packs of 20 of 50 so i've got a clasp on it now right so now i need to add another I need to find the center point of the necklace so holding the clasp and then holding the other end I'm going to find the center uh, ring and that is where I'll hang the teapot and the cup and saucer okay just want to make sure I've got the center ring where is my it's my craft pick these craft picks are also sold at uh, G's embellishment emporium okay I have my center ring so I will then attach the um, teapot with the chips on the inside and the cup into that center ring so that when it's worn it'll just hang in the central in the neckline so just gonna put another jump ring on and attach the teapot oops let me get it on properly I know this is probably very hard to see on camera I will have pictures in the blog post so you get to see it properly okay attaching another jump ring onto the jump ring that we've already put on the cup and again attaching that to the uh, teapot making sure that it's closed securely bring over a one of my busts so you can see it properly and there we have it a really cute especially if you're into your Dalton Abbey or your teas and your coffee I hope that shows up on camera okay so there we go really quick and simple tutorial today but it is very simple it can be a bit fiddly, but it's worth the outcome. Thank you very much for watching me. Head over to the store and the uh, blog post so you can see exactly the items I used. Happy shopping. Any questions, please use the Contact Us button. Um, there is a conversion tab um, at the bottom of every page. If you scroll right down to the bottom, there's, it says Conversion List. There's a, a conversion list of the most frequent prices. And there's also a link to Google Convert. There's also a... Um, walkthrough video and that's also um, in, in one of the blog posts um any questions please don't hesitate to ask thank you very much for watching and i will see you again very soon take care now